Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Libra. Alrighty guys, so for the first half of August 2021, we are doing our career in money reading today. Uh, I'll begin the reading with the 10 card spread and then we'll finish off doing a 3 card spread using the dice and the random keywords. So Libra, hopefully you are all enjoying this summer. Let's see what messages, wow, swords, we could say to Libra. Let's see what those 10 cards try to suggest. And then we're going to use the dice, like I said, and pull three random keywords and read about them. Okay, put you here for now. Alrighty, Libra. So, as you guys may know, in the first two cards, I'm usually trying to puzzle the question. This being a general reading, right? So, every question we're trying to answer has four elements and maybe more. But really, the what, why, how, and when of something you are trying to achieve. So let's see, we begin with, like this is royal, <laughs> your reading is royal. Okay, so we begin with a king of wands. Alrighty, Mr. Business Planner shows up now. And then we begin with the king of swords, Mr. CFO, Mr. or Mrs., Mr. or Mrs. Uh, no gender here, these are energies, okay? So, oh boy, two kings, Libra, what do we do? Two kings, okay. And then... We're looking at how to puzzle the authority part and at the same time the business part. So the King of Swords is leading me towards a status, leading me towards some uh, promotion that you are seeking, some management upgrade, going up on the org chart. At the same time, the King of Wands may imply it's a new project or it's a new business for you. So some of you Libras are self-employed, you're business owners. Okay, so we have a new big something here. Now, because we have two kings, we really need to spend some time talking about the energies that we just pulled. King of Wands, business planner, motivator, okay? Um, upbeat in terms of the energy, willing to take risks. You know what? We'll go ahead with a plan when it's 80% complete. Now, there's something interesting about it here because right next to it, the other king is a data-driven king, okay? It's an information-based kind of energy there. So I find that both feed into each other well if you play that King of Swords energy right. By that, I'm talking about when you are launching new products, you're doing market research. If you're opening a shop, you know the area you're opening, you know that there's customers, there's, you know what, the flow, you know your pricing is set to where the demand will meet it, and so on and so forth. So the energy of taking a little bit of risk when coupled with data, information, analysis, and factual and logical thoughts takes you forward, I think, okay? What we have going here is an amazing, amazing, you know what, um, stamina for achievement. Uh, and it's also coming from a place of experience, someone who has kind of tasted this in the past and they know how to get there. So I hope that this resonates with you, Libra. Uh, the goal is big, guys. Two kings, what do you want me to say? Two kings, big goals, new cycles new beginnings based on not just achievement but now we're going to add completion of knowledge completion of information completion of tasks and phases now immediately with all that good stuff it looks like now we're taking the king of swords energy and now we're going a little down you know what focusing on what it is we're trying to do and here's the queen of swords queen of swords is going to narrow the issues down Okay, so we're looking for an upgrade. We're looking for a promotion. Beautiful. What do we have to do to get there? What's the appetite? That's the kind of analysis. What's the appetite with upper management for that kind of ask? All right. What's the appetite for, uh, you know what, a money uh, increase, a pay increase, something like that. Her energy is quite realistic and I love it. I love it because that saves you time. So when you know there's a certain endeavor, a certain initiative approach to doing something that doesn't work, chop, chop, and then we move on to what we know delivers. What I love about that is uh, this kind of energy, this kind of wisdom allows you, okay, to really get creative, to really figure it out. Do I continue where I'm at or do I launch something new? So now the two kings are going to start to kick in and say to me, hey, we completed a phase here. We completed something successfully. And if we have not... The knowledge may be the one thing missing, okay? So a three of swords as a creative effort, trying to hone in again on the next phase. What shall it entail? And I see a lot of 
creation energy, a lot of development energy. As I say that, maybe business development is something that you do. And here's the Empress. So this is the asset. This is the asset for Libra. Okay, the Empress energy. When you add that, you know what, with the uh, Queen of Swords energy, when you add that to two kings sitting here, what we are truly describing is wisdom, practicality, but really, in such a complete way, I mean, God bless you guys, in such a complete way, these cards, they just suggest, to the extent that you are focused on data, you also have the social side. You have that kind of energy that attracts people. Um, it's not as if data will stop you. Uh, so, high morale, amazing, amazing. And then we add to that a very, very knowing how to build kind of energy. This is an asset. This is an asset I see you on an advancement road okay i see you on a potentially new journey as well because i'm glancing here and i see a new journey a new phase so new phase based on completion successfully of certain things and now we have that thing going for us you know what i think you may be i think you may be a business developer i think you may be one of those or someone in real estate okay where something gets built based on your creativity. Maybe you're an engineer, but really we're talking here about the um, energy of taking a seed to planting it at the right time, eh? At the right time, that's good luck, to nourishing it, to gaining the reward. So a closer, an executive, a finisher of tasks. We have that and then we have something else going for us as well, Libra, the kindness okay so she's an empress she's established power at she power perceived as power achieved so she doesn't need to pick on silly fights she's able to you know what rise above and focus on the goal and this is a very wise and mature energy and it does not mean your age you could be in your you know what early 20s and choose to have that attitude let it go when it does not make sense if it does not affect you okay libra a lot of times you compromise a lot of times you try to reach solutions sometimes it's also good to let something go keep with that energy of this empress okay if it isn't going to be an annoyance let some distractions go if it isn't going to affect your mode of operation what i see here is i see an energy of a very taking the higher ground libra um, avoiding distractions, avoiding, you know, what discussions that are meaningless in a way. Very, very mature, very wise energies, very creation, you know, what driven. And because of that, when you focus on what you could do, okay, what you could do and your next phase and get creative about what you're asking, okay, you're going to realize the opportunity again. And you're going to sharpen your presentation and showcase the best Libra. So it's an eight of coins here, how you get the opportunity based on your skill set. And I'm glancing here and I'm seeing there's there's something good here, but there's something that may suggest also a move. Okay, so I'm hoping this move could be within the group. I'm hoping this move is a move up. And if it's not, I'm certain it's going to be an amazing upgrade for you. I see after a lot of hard work here, a lot of information gathering, a lot of analysis, we rely on a key skill set. And that key skill set is, in a way, going to take you somewhere new, okay? Somewhere new. So here is a Knight of Swords ready to move, but after confirmation of some information here. And the priority to you is really to figure, should you stay where you're at or should you go? So the timing has to do with setting priorities what is absolutely important now um, is it getting out or is it maybe to watch a little bit two three months the market but there can also be something very important that's calling from you for you elsewhere and that's what i think is driving you here so setting the priorities prior to departure it's a six of swords okay it's a six of swords it's about overcoming and persevering and following that we get the full Libra. So here's the adventure part. And that's the, if you will, purpose behind this. A new revenue stream. A new status. A new path for achievement. Two kings, one queen, one empress. One knight. Action. 
action, action. The analysis is there, but we want to upgrade. So that's what I see. I see a chance, an opportunity for you, uh, maybe for a transfer, maybe, but something is going to, you know, be presenting away from what you are doing right now. Um, now the question becomes, what do you do? Do you kind of uh, lay low until that presents or are you probing for it? If you are probing for it, uh, I think you're taking your time a little bit, which is fine, okay, which is fine. So always getting a new job, getting into something new when you're in one is kind of the best, uh, best case scenario. But I see this, I see some kind of departure. If that resonates, do let me know, Libra. And towards the end, we're looking at a satisfactory conclusion, guys. The queen of cups, the queen of my heart feels good, content. I am satisfied with the effort I've put, with the result I'm going to generate for myself. So I love it. I love it. What can I say? Kind energies. We have here the element of being sharp. We have here the element of being flexible. Adventure element with the fool. And then we have two kings. One is ready to move. And this kind of, in a way, ties into that fool's energy. Is they're going to move on an 80% complete plan if it is inspiring enough. If they are armed with a little bit of data, a little bit of information, some assurance as to the longevity of this move. Well, positive, positive. Now let's see what we could say um, with the dice and keywords. So here... And we're going to see the first one. So it's number five. And number five talk, talks about restrictions. Restrictions. Okay. There may be restrictions right now, but you're going to move forward. Here's the chariot. Okay. The restrictions that may be around may relate to tools. So maybe in the current job, in the current discipline, career, you don't have the supports that you need. Um, considering that as you move elsewhere, okay, demand and insist on having what you need. Sometimes it's as simple as a better photocopier or a better computer or things of that nature. Tools that you need that empower and enable you to do your role in the best way. And another five obligations. Yalla, one more shuffle. Obligations. And here's the beauty, beauty, beauty. The queen of coins. Okay. Um, I don't need to preach to you to watch obligations if you are departing, if you're leaving the current role. You know that. You have those two kings, okay? You have a queen of swords. But she's a little bit of a reminder that the comforts of life need to be calculated as well and need to be taken into account. That if you're going to be going on a, a bit of a risk, you don't want to neglect what you have going for you already, okay? Obligations. Things that we want to continue to meet, especially if we are departing if we are starting something new without uh, reference to how it's going to work we have all the hope and faith we have all the skill sets here to make it work but that's just a hint of a reminder obligations libra number one reunite yes ed all righty reunite with the i think you're heading somewhere guys reunite with that knight of wands okay taking action as you get inspired and at the same time following a plan the knights that we got, it's interesting, the knights that we got relate to the kings that we got, okay? We got the knight of wands and the king of wands. And we got here the knight of swords, right? And the king of swords was right under it. So it's as if to say, the more you plan, um, the more you invest time in a certain aspect of your project, the new role you're going to, the new business you're going to, the more you get the encouragement to actually move forward. The more you spend time focusing on it, the more you have the drive energy to push you forward. And with that being said, I hope you guys liked the reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. You guys are so amazing. And I want you to know, we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.